Hi, I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'm here at Google SF for a Tango workshop. And with me is Eitan. Eitan, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Timothy. Thanks for <laughs> having me here. It's always a pleasure to have you. For those of you that have seen Eitan on our show before, you know that he's a senior software engineer on Tango. Yep. I've been working on Tango for some time, trying to help mobile devices see and understand the world around them. God, it's such a cool technology. Yeah, we're really excited about it. Um, I know we've talked about it in the past, but use cases like shopping for furniture at home or using your device as a tape measure or even getting from point A to B in a mall or in a museum using your device for indoor navigation. It's That's, really exciting. Yeah, and we've talked about those. We've even shown some uh, screen capture of like those use cases. Like I love games on Tango and like the whole like being able to measure things is so simple and useful. Um, and at this workshop, you're going beyond those use cases and exploring photo and video and visual communication with Tango. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, so at this workshop, we're really looking to expand the capabilities of a camera and, and what people think of when they think of their camera on a mobile phone. Mm. Um, and we're doing this kind of in three major ways. So the first one is in video, doing things like video stabilization and rolling shutter compensation. The second thrust we're pushing on at this workshop is around filters for imagery. Mm -hmm. So being able to combine depth information with the RGB camera to get really interesting effects, sort of stylize your photos. And the third thrust is really around storytelling and just tying the camera to the space that it's in and enabling new experiences and new stories to unfold in front of you uh, in your actual environment. God, that's so cool. Well, I'll tell you what, why don't we actually just look at some of these use cases and talk to some developers? Yeah, absolutely, we should do it. Great. I'm now sitting here with Chris and Anna from the Wall Street Journal who are doing really cool stuff with Tango at this workshop today. How are you two doing? Doing great, loving it. Tell me what it is that you're working on. We're working on a new angle of photojournalism. Tell me about that, what, what does that look like? We want to create an app that lets photographers, as they're taking a photo, sort of place in 3D space exactly where they are and exactly the viewpoint that, they, uh, that they're shooting through, I guess. On the user's side, as they're sort of navigating their day-to-day -day world, footsteps would appear in places where photographs have been taken with this app. It's capability enabled, so you can hold your phone up and sort of line up seamlessly into your environment where this photograph was taken. So utilizing Tango's fine scale location information and area mapping as a tool to give people a, a new lens to view their world. That's really exciting. I think it's really interesting uh, the ability to explore space in new ways because of technology like this. And the, the demo that you guys are working on is a really cool example of that. I think what I hear from you is that there's, um, there's this gap between like the photographer as the creator of the work and the, the user who's like viewing this work and you're trying to like bring them all together. Yeah, that, I think that's a really good way of putting it, of sort of stepping literally into the shoes of another person at another time. I'm now sitting here with Andy and Eddie from Murata, who are also at this Tango workshop today. Tell me what you're working on. I sort of took a, a left turn from what I normally am doing. I, I decided to sort of approach it from the perspective of gaming and uh, scanning an area and building, a, uh, building an environment based on what's actually there. And so my idea with this was, uh, what if you could just sort of build uh, the structure of your landscape with Legos or building blocks or cardboard or whatever, and uh, then using Tango, scans that and creates your terrain. It's basically taking the mesh data that we get from, from Tango that's, that's great for doing stuff like, you know, just determining the locations of things and measurements of things or, or bouncing physics off of it but then taking that data and using it to construct something that's actually you know, texturable and, and, and looks like a, nice, uh, like a nice landscape. How about yourself? So it's an app that takes the depth data from Tango and then creates digital art out of it. Taking that and, and using the depth data only from the Tango um, to allow you to create digital art really quickly and easily. Um, so it's just sort of like really, really fun, really easy way of taking the depth data, making something really cool out of it, and then sharing it. So uh, what do you think about building for Tango so far? Yeah, we've, we've done a lot of stuff for some other platforms. And uh, I, I, think, I think we probably agree that, that, uh, that the functionality is, is a lot more. It uh, actually works. It's a lot, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot more mature. Um, so it's pretty easy to develop for. Like, uh, 
you know, I can kind of rely on it to provide, you know, to provide the essential information and then I just have to figure out what I want to do with that information on top of it. Okay, Sam, so tell me what you're working on today. Uh, I'm working on a video stabilization app um, using Tango. So walk me through kind of like the user experience. Yeah, I mean, I really wanted it to be as simple as possible where it's you open it up. Um, for a second, you kind of still see the camera shaking and occasionally I'm still, I'm adding some new features so it's a little bit buggy and gets some weird distortions. But um, after about a second, it'll stabilize and then it'll just be a smooth image on your thing and you basically move the camera like you would. It's sort of like having um, a virtual gimbal in a way okay. where it's, um, it'll... Like one of those things that you attach that like makes it smooth. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, it's kind of like, like a very little imaginary steady cam inside your tablet in a way where it's just, you just kind of guide it where you want it to go and ideally it will follow. That's awesome. I'm now sitting here with Yulia and Brian of the New York Times. Hello. 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 <laughs> so you've been playing with Tango. What do you think? Uh, we're really excited and there's a lot of cool possibilities and we are in the situation of where we have lots of data and we're trying to figure out how uh, we can leverage AR to, to showcase this data and drive user engagement and also um, I guess surfacing our content so people can discover things. Um, what are some of the, the things that users could potentially see with Tango and New York Times? The one exciting thing is maybe utilizing some of the 3D uh, models and the 3D data that we've been building. So imagine seeing that on your tabletop or all around you, visualizing oh, okay. some scenes from, from the new satellites that have happened. So going beyond even the 2D headlines and you know, jumping into the 3D world around you. What do you think about the uh, Tango development process so far? So I'm actually coming at it from a different direction. I, I am um, a 3D artist and not as much of a developer. So for me, it's been an amazing experience. I've jumped into the Unity side of it and you know, even being able to crawl with baby steps through getting the basic tutorials and actually building stuff has been really great. That's awesome. So it seems to be like a friendly platform for, for even beginners. Those are some really cool demos that we just saw, Eitan. I can't wait to get those on a Tango phone, which begs the question. When can I get a Tango phone? Yeah, so we're super excited. We're really close to launch. The first Tango phones are going to go out this fall. They'll be made by Lenovo with a partnership with us. Uh, they're called Fab2 Pros, and you can look for them on store shelves this fall. That's awesome. And uh, in preparation for that launch, you guys have done a bunch of SDK updates as well. Yeah, so in preparation for launch, we've been working hard on the SDK, both performance improvements and some new features. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about it, you should definitely check out our developer sites. Awesome. Uh, Developers.google.com slash Tango. You got it. And we'll put the link below. I'm Timothy. This is Aton. Hi, guys. Thanks. See you next time. Yeah.